Well, today is May 15th, so today is the first day that the National Hurricane Center starts issuing its tropical outlooks. So that means that they will give you the potential for any sort of tropical development. They do this before the official start of hurricane season because sometimes we can get a tropical storm that forms late May before the official start of June 1st. So today is the first day, but the good news is you can see here no tropical development expected over the next seven days. That's another thing to point out. This is over the next seven days. So over the past several years, of course, we have had the tropical developments that go for two days and five days. You'll remember us giving you a percent chance of a storm potentially developing, and that's usually over the next five days. New this year, it is now over the next seven days. The National Hurricane Center says that their data shows that there's not a difference in accuracy between five days and seven days, so they are able to give us all more of a heads up now. So officially starting this year, we will have seven day outlooks today again is the first day. No tropical development expected within the next seven days. Right now, it is beautiful for some of you out there, but look at that. We have some clouds building, some thunderstorms forming. I'm tracking it right now already, starting to see some of these storms out here. So let's put this into play mode and get a better look at exactly where we see some thunderstorms starting to pop. We got a good bit of lightning associated with this cell here. We've had about 20 strikes over the past couple of minutes, so that thunderstorm is something that we will watch. Also looks like maybe the potential for hail, a little bit of dark coloring there starting to get into that purple there that we'll keep a close eye on. And that, of course, isn't it. We also have some more downpours now starting to develop out to its west. So over Lafitte, a little bit of shower activity there. And then big picture shows us on the North Shore, too. We're watching some development. And look at that. We got some lightning there as well. So activity now just starting to pop up. Looks like this is crossing over from Mississippi into Louisiana right there near Pearlington. Good bit of lightning as well starting to pop up there. So we'll keep a close eye. Looks like about seven strikes over the past couple couple of minutes. So I do expect more thunderstorms to develop this afternoon. That would of course drop your temperatures because right now Slidell is at 94 degrees. It's 91 degrees right now in Galliano, 92 in Bogalusa, feeling hotter than that. With the humidity out there, heat index values are at 102 degrees right now in Slidell. It feels like 99 degrees in Galliano, same for Holma at the lakefront feeling like 93 degrees and 95 at the airport. So Overall, we are going to see these temperatures stay in the 90s and then slowly drop down into the 80s this evening. However, still feeling like the 90s this evening for a while. And you can see your rain chances are there too. I'm thinking about 50% today. This model is showing a big development, a big boom in thunderstorm activity through the afternoon hours. So just be aware, I do expect some scattered storms throughout the day into the evening, but we do quiet down at night. Overnight tonight, maybe an isolated shower possible at most. Otherwise, we'll be mostly clear, mild and muggy with lows in the 60s and 70s. And then tomorrow, very similar to today, we'll have a mix of sun and clouds, some scattered storms out there. And other than that, it will be hot and humid. Temperatures tomorrow, highs likely in the 90s for those of you on the North Shore and a few on the South Shore as well. As for rain chances, I think we stay mostly dry in the morning. And then in the afternoon, we start to see some of that thunderstorm development again, very similar to today. Look at this. We dropped back down into the middle 80s, normal temperature for this time of year by Wednesday. That's because a cold front will be moving on through a weak front, but still it will bring us some rain and thunderstorm activity and then drop our temperatures into the middle 80s. I do think we warm up again as we head towards the weekend. A little cool down, Lee. Thank you so much.